What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 here in the spring season of series number 4. Driving around in our Pagani Zonda R that we got in the last video for getting the 40 points in the spring season. So if you haven't seen that, definitely knock out some of the miscellaneous little tasks with the spring season. But if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Today we're going to be jumping into the seasonal playground games event and the car that we're going to be using is the Peugeot. I got comments about how I pronounced it in the last video so I'm trying to do a little better. I think it's Peugeot um, 207 Super 2000 is what we're going to be using. I'll throw a picture of it up on the screen now. The share code for the tune that we're going to use, along with the tuner's name and name of the tune, will be up on the screen as well. So if you cannot find it from the share code, try searching from the tuner's name as well as the name of the tune. Um, it seems that anytime a tuner goes in and makes any kind of adjustment, whether it be something small as just adjusting the tire pressure, it does change the share code of the tune. So definitely go and check out the name of the tune and the tuner's name and it should be able to get you squared away if it's not working from the share code. I have the Playground Games matchmaking currently so we're waiting on that to go and once it's complete we'll jump into the seasonal Playground Games. Right, let's see what our teammates brought here. There's our Peugeot. We've got at least two other ones, a Lamborghini Urus and two Aerial Nomads. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that right. Peugeot? Peugeot? Oh, there's been an accident. Alright, so here we go. Everybody, not everybody. Well, one of them has a tune. It's not top of A, a class, but it's still a tune, I guess. The Aerial Nomad, not so much. But we'll see how this goes. Starting out with Infected. If you haven't played playground games before, um, Infected is essentially just a um, you try to survive kind of thing. The other team is trying to tag us currently, and basically when they tag us we become infected, and uh, we can get tagged by our teammates to become uninfected. And if they tag us all, that ends this round, and then we swap sides. being chased down by an exo set it looks like I think that's what that is no it's an aerial okay so these games the nice thing about the playground games is they don't really matter if you win or lose you'll get the reward no matter what Whoop. hello Oh gosh, that guy scared me. I literally jumped. So we've got one teammate left currently. That is the trailer. So ideally, I come up behind this guy and tag him. But we'll see what happens. Oh man unfortunate so now we'll swap sides and if we can tag them faster than they tagged us then we win this round if we don't then we lose the round the playground games are three different events so it is best of three so the first team to two wins they have changed that it used to be best of five and it felt like these games went on forever um so it's nice to see that change um, but now we've got a minute and a half roughly to tag all six of them. Good move. The Aerial Adam's a lot more nimble than I thought it was. Maybe fast is the term that I'm looking for there. Oh, -ho, I barely missed him. So... Like I said, it really doesn't matter if you win or lose these game, the playground games. Um, you just have to play them to completion to get the reward. This week it's really not a great reward, um, but if you're going for seasonal completion or um, 
you know, series completion even, you know, it's worth it to get those extra three points or whatever it is. So, I'm just doing it to make a video on it. I think it's a horn this week. Oh, we missed him again? Or did we get him? I think it's saying we got him. I don't think we touched him, but it's saying that we got him, I think. Oh, somebody get him. That would be the clutchest thing ever. We lost. We only had one left. Not too bad. All right. So they won round number one. We're going to move on to the second game and see if we can win that. If not, if they win, it's over and we don't have to play another game, which is all right. Game number two, Team King. So this one is each team will have two crowns. And basically you want to hold as many crowns as possible for as long as possible. You get them by tagging the other team. And so it's the first team to 10 minutes worth of time. And each crown that you hold makes your time go faster. So we can tag their their team that has the crowns. And we can take all four. Or vice versa, they can take all four. And once you've held the crown for 30 seconds, I believe. Um, if we do get a crown, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But after you've held it for 30 seconds... Ooh, we barely missed that guy. Um, you'll get a countdown timer, and you'll actually get slowed down. And it's not just like a easy peasy slowdown. You get, if you stop, you take a little bit of time to get going again. Um, so, well, he handed that off, huh? Let's see if we can't get this one from Buttersweet. Nope, just missed it. Woo! Where'd he go? I think this is one of the more, like, difficult uh, team game or playground games that I've had. Usually it's like one team is not, like, playing, like, hardly at all. But we've kept all... Six on six players currently. We're gonna use our teammate. So we just got the crown. You can see the gold uh, or yellow, what's, whatever you want to call it, bar in the right. Woo! That is that countdown timer that I was talking about. Our team is currently winning. Trying to run away from this guy. We're about to be slowed. Did he get that? He didn't get it? Oh, he's gonna get it here. No, he's not. Oh, that guy got it. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can't get it from that guy now. That guy had just a lucky jump into the uh, pond there, huh? Oh. I don't think I was on the right track to get that guy anyway, but come on. Our team is still winning, but they do have three crowns. And we'll take that guy's crown. And we'll go this way. And we are about to be slowed down. And this is full throttle right now. <laughs> yeah, he got it. <laughs> Hold it for a couple more seconds. Oh, we're gonna get it right back. Ah, you messed up, kid. All right, so our team is looking good. We might actually win. You gotta keep your head on a swivel in these games. The 
play some Halo for some people. And we are slowed down yet again. Being slowed is actually one of my favorite things. team only needs a few more points. We do have two of the crowns, so as long as we hold that, we should be a-okay. And we won. So it is one-to-one. -one. It's going to come down to game number three. I feel like we held it longer than just two, and a half, two minutes and eight seconds. But Alright. So last game should be... Um, Team Flag Rush. We do have a wheel spin. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, that's nice. I think we already own that, but nonetheless, it's nice going into that. All right, and Team Flag Rush is the last game. Looks like, let's see if we're defending or attacking first. I hope we are attacking, or defending rather. So we are defending first, so. Basically, we want to keep the red players from scoring into the zone, and then after however long the time limit is, we will swap sides, and we'll have to score. Um, and basically, whatever they score here, we've got to score one more than to win the event. Um, so we'll see if we can do that. So I think the strategy here should be try to get these people like tag them closer to this side. Um, that way they have to go further back to get the flag rather than, you know, trying to be aggressive up at the flag. They gotta get in? Surely not, right? They only have two, so. deny that flag there. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any strategies for flag rush. Get you. Like I said, I think the best strategy is kind of like right through here is just play as close to the actual zone as you can. Teammates. Where's this guy? Because, like I said, as somebody has to come all the way back. Ooh, he barely got around me. I just whipped that around there. I'm going to leave it to my teammates to get that guy. And I thought that guy was going to get him. They've got another minute to score. They've only gotten three. I think that's actually really good. Our team's doing like really well. I'm just kind of doing this uh, <laughs> up front defense kind of stuff. I wonder if you could set that up to where you like ramp off of something and then you end up. Oh, nice move. You bounce off of your own teammate's car to stay like further into the air. Good score. They got up to six. I don't know. They might be able to score another one. They're going to have to really rush. Oh, they did score another one. What the heck? So, seven is the number. We've got to score eight to win. And if it ties... I'm told that it's whichever time or whatever team scored the first flag the fastest, I think. So, all right. So this is what 
decides the playground game victor here. Not that winning matters. Again, you get the reward either way, but it is better to win than not to win, right? I wonder how well they're gonna like defend on their side there. Oh, we barely got that in there. All right, we got three. We've got three. Let's get more. We need four more. Yeah, they're all playing it close over there. They're not coming out, it looks like, so. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. It's really not. It's probably the preferred strategy, quite honestly. Like I said, that's what I think is best. Alright, we got six. They're scrambling. We need two more. One more to get a tie, if anything. Okay, we got one more. Let's see. We're going wide strategy here. Really wide. Now we win. There we go. Flag rush, eight to seven. Crushed it. MVP over here, two flags. One of their people had four flags. That poor guy, he was trying his hardest to get that W. All right, the blue team wins, and that gets us that tape rewind horn. All right, but that is the hot and, or getting hot in here, seasonal playground games event here in the spring season of series number four. I hope you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful at all. If you did, definitely leave a like on the video. Definitely get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 5 content. Every Thursday I do go through and make videos on every bit of the seasonal uh, festival playlist when it resets. Um, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, definitely go check them out. They are all posted up for this week, thing being the spring week here in series number four. So if you're having issues with any of the other championships or the trial event definitely go check those out um, we'll have tunes and cars that are you know worked out well for me in those vehicular videos um there is a link to the bomb gaming discord server in the description as we do cartwheels galore um but if you want to join that, it's definitely a good place to, uh, you know, get those tunes and cars maybe a little bit quicker if you're impatient like I am and want to just get this done as fast as possible. Those do get posted into that Discord server before they get posted into videos just because of the time that it takes to edit. So, um, but there's also a channel in there for, you know, people looking for other players, whether it be for the trial event or playground games such as this. Or if you're just looking for people to play the game with, it's a good place to, um, you know, interact and find others to play Forza Horizon 5 with. So definitely go check that out. Um, lastly, we do have a uh, Forza group here in Horizon 5. If you go over here into clubs, you can uh, go over to search clubs and you would search for Bomb Gaming Club. And you'll be able to, you know, pull that out there and join that club. So... You haven't, if you're not in a Horizon Club, you know, it's just a good way, again, to meet people that play the game. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will see you in the next video.